Black Desert Online. As we all know, this game is very prominent in the MMO community, especially right now of all times, where they're making patch after patch, fixing all the things that they have needed to fix for the past seven years that it has been out. At the moment, it has an unprecedented amount of players playing the game. And the amount of people that are joining are, is just increasing day by day by day. And a lot of the servers that people are relying on when they first start out, season servers, OVS servers, and anything in between, are heavily crowded. And at the moment, these new players do not understand quite how to do as many other things as the old players do, obviously, as they do not have the time and experience in the game. That is the purpose for me making this guide. This guide is specifically targeted to new players and players that are specifically looking to use Jatina enhancements and reforms to try and increase their gear at a minimal cost. Jatina is one of the best resources for all new players, as it allows you to get one, guaranteed, an accessory through minimal amounts of cost, as well as it allows you to reform Tet gear into pin gear at lower costs. All this stuff is very powerful, but you need to know how to do it, as the first, second, maybe even third armor or weapon is worth it in cost. Beyond that, it can actually cost more to try and reform it through Jatina than to buy it as is. The reason for this is because the more reform zones you make, the more resources it requires to craft. You're going to need all five reform zones for each of your items, and the total amount should be this right here. The thing that changes from time to time when you craft different boss gears, for example, the first one will be quite simple and cheap. It costs roughly 30 Aquila crystals. But the more times you do this, the more Jatina asks for more and more crystals to create these, which is why it costs more, as these are the most expensive part of the entire process. At the moment, as players are returning, magical shards, which are shown right here, are a big increase to value. Because before the events and the announcements were released, they sold for a solid million each. You could craft them using only one magic crystal, and now the price of magic crystals has almost tripled to quadrupled the value that they previously were. This is another thing that you need to take into consideration. And now the most confusing part would be the boss crystals and the boss aura. First, I'll explain the boss crystals. Boss crystals can be gathered from any boss you fight, from a dark rift, from a world boss, any boss you may fight you can get these crystals from. Although it is insufficient to get these amount of crystals from those fights, as it will take you several months to even years to get enough crystals for even one of these reforms. One method to getting more would be talking to Jatina, which she offers one weekly quest where you can grab 155 of these crystals of a certain type by turning in only two auras of the same boss. For example, let's say you want a Karanda item. You can turn in two of these Karanda's auras into Jatina to accept 155 crystals once a week. In total, you're going to need 360 crystals, so it will take you about three weeks to gather enough of these crystals to make one reform. Now onto the concentrated boss's auras. Boss's auras are used in the pen reform stone and none before that. It requires 30 of them, which you can gather from a unenhanced weapon of the boss, gives you one, a pry version gives you 10, a duo version gives you 15, and a try version gives you 30. So getting a try version of the item automatically gives you enough to do the pen reform stone. Once you gather all the required resources, you're going to want to use heating on these resources to turn them into the reform stones. You're going to need reform stone 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and you're going to need to reform them all into end gear. Once you get all five of these required stones, you first have to put in the first one, and then the second, and go all the way up to the fifth, and it should give you pen Jatina gear. This is the foundation to the pen Jatina gear, and the first two to three of them are very good because it allows you to get this gear for several billions less than it would cost you normally. They also function as normal gear, even if you cannot sell them on the market. For now, that will be all, and I wish you all luck on Jatina Guaranteed Pen Boss Gear.